So we have been discussing about the Cypress test execution in GitHub Actions and published report via GitHub Pages from our last video. And in our last video, we actually created the complete source code. We also executed the code and we saw how we can generate the Mocha Awesome report. So everything is all good right now. So all we're gonna do in this video is we are gonna check in the code in the GitHub repo and then we're gonna create a GitHub Actions workflow and then we're gonna see how we can publish the report on the GitHub pages and we'll see how the GitHub Actions workflow is gonna come into actions to perform a CACD operation for us. So for that, I'm just gonna go to the GitHub over here and then I'm just gonna create a new repository and I'm gonna call this as a Cypress report, something like that. And then I'm gonna say Cypress report with GitHub Actions workflow and publish report in GitHub pages. And I'm gonna add the ignore for the node module and I'm gonna create a repository over here. So this is gonna be the repository which I'm gonna be creating and this is where I'm actually gonna be cloning my uh, code. So I'm just gonna open this with the GitHub desktop. And over here, I'm just gonna copy paste all the code and then I'm gonna check in the code, which is gonna be just like a flash of second. I'll be back once it is done. You can see that the code is available for us. And the next up is we need to create the actions workflow, which is nothing but the GitHub actions workflow. And we have already discussed about GitHub Actions workflow in my earlier video where in order to set up the workflow, you need to choose the GitHub workflow. So the one which I'm gonna be choosing this time is gonna be this one, but I'm just gonna delete almost everything which is sitting over here because I need to actually generate or create an altogether a new workflow here. So I'm not really gonna be using any one of these as you can see in here. I'm just gonna be deleting all of them and I'm actually gonna be creating a new workflow altogether. So the first one is I need to generate the Cypress report. I'm gonna get it from this particular branch. So that's, so that's the first thing which I need to be doing for my code to be executed. And then I need to create the jobs. And from this job, I need to be actually getting uh, the container from the Cypress browsers. So if you can see in the Docker, there is something called a Cypress uh, browsers for this particular uh, Cypress, as you can go over here in the Docker hub you can see there are different versions of Cypress uh, browsers available uh, like Chrome 69. But if you go to the tags, you can see there are many different new versions of the Cypress Chrome available over here. So I'm just gonna be using the most latest version which is 83 and Firefox 77. So I'm just gonna use that as well. And then I'm gonna execute the same command which I said told you before to uh, run the test and then generate the report and merge the report, which is these. So you can see this is the jobs where I'm just gonna be executing or running. I'm gonna run on the Chrome number, uh, Chrome 83 on the Ubuntu operating system. And this is the Cypress browser with the version, the latest version I told you. I'm gonna check out the code and then I'm gonna perform the installation, which is gonna be the Cypress verify. And then I'm gonna do the Cypress test execution on the Chrome. As you can see, this is the command, the npm uh, run test chrome, which we just did on our Visual Studio code. And I'm gonna be exactly doing the same thing uh, to actually copy the videos into the public folder. And the reason why we're just doing all these things on the public folder is because we are actually be gonna use the actions of the GitHub pages. So we are gonna be basically using a workflow, uh, which is gonna be from this one, the GitHub actions. So as you can see, based on the author's uh, information, you need to publish this particular page to a directory and which is gonna be the public directory. So this is just an example. You can create your own directory of your choice, but I'm just gonna be sticking with the author what they have mentioned. And again, this is very, very interesting. This is what I have read in the articles from the original author and he mentioned the same thing as well. So I'm just gonna be exactly doing the same thing and that's why we're just copy pasting all the uh, video files under the public uh, folder. And then we're gonna be doing the merge test reports and then we're gonna be generating the test report, that's it. And then finally, we need to be deploying the report. So for deploying the report, uh, this is the uh, stuff that we need to be executing, uh, this one. So deploy report page to the uh, GitHub page. So that's it. You can see this guy is actually coming from this one, which I just showed you. So once this is done, we are pretty good to go. I can then start the commit 
to create a new Cypress report. But this is not going to basically work at this particular point of time. There is one thing which we need to still do is we need to go to the settings. And then if you go to the uh, options, if, if you come all the way down here, there is something called as GitHub pages. So basically this particular GitHub pages is disabled. You need to select a GitHub uh, source over here to actually uh, showcase where you're going to be doing it. So you can select uh, the branch which you're going to be working with like or you can also create your own branch if you want. Uh, so once you select this basically your site will be ready and it will be published on this particular uh, location the exit automation dot github.io of Cypress report. So if I go at this moment you can see that nothing is actually happening because the test execution might have triggered already. If I go to the code and if I go to the workflow here uh, it seems like it has been passed a uh, page build completed and there you go so let's see if we have this particular changes that we have made yes I think everything is all good so now if I just try to maybe just do uh, a small updation here and uh, let's do a commit changes and then if I go to the actions you can see that uh, now the execution has triggered and you can see that the first execution has happened here, which is nothing but run on Chrome version number 83. So this is the first step that we were actually executing. And you can see that it is setting up the job. It is initializing the container for us. And once the initialization is done, it is then going to check out the code and then it's going to install the Cypress and going to verify, run the Cypress test and copy the test execution videos and screenshots, merge the test report, generate the HTML report, deploy the report to the GitHub page, and then it's going to stop the container. So it's going to do all sort of workflow operation for us once the execution is complete. So let's wait for the execution to fully complete. Oops, it seems like there is a failure here because the test actually expects a screenshot folder to be available. And because that doesn't really exist at this particular point of time within our repo, we actually need to add it at least a file so that it will actually show us or copy paste the screenshots because there is uh, no permission for it because we already have a videos folder and not the screenshots folder. It is gonna be creating the problem for us. So probably I can create a new file here. I'm just going to say folder to hold the screenshots, commit the new file. And if you go to the actions right now, you can see that the test execution has started. And you can see that this time the report has been generated and it's also merged and it is also performing the checkout and everything is done which is pretty cool and now if i try to go directly to the settings as you know over here as you can see that we have this particular url for the cypress report and as i told you before we have to choose the GitHub pages where the report is going to be published. So if I open this particular URL, you can see that I could see that particular report is coming in, which is pretty cool. And also once I expand this particular step, I actually see the video of the execution as well. And that's the reason why we have actually changed the name of the particular file to this particular name, right? And now you may be wondering where these particular files are actually being published and where it is sitting. So as you can see, there is something called as a gh-page branch. So earlier I selected the master branch, but, but while the test is actually executing, I realized that the master branch is not the one which we should be choosing. We should be choosing the gh-page branch because it is nothing but the GitHub pages branch. This is where your actual pages should be sitting. So if you want to see the GitHub pages uh, branch, you can actually see this. Uh, let's say if I just go to the user automation, of the Cypress uh, reports of three GH pages. So if I go there, you can see that you can actually see the assets of my report and also the videos of my report. And also it shows me uh, the locations because there is no screenshots being generated because there was no failure in the test. The screenshots folder does not really exist. But if there is any failure in our test, we can also see that particular uh, report coming in. That's it. So this is how we can actually work with GitHub Actions. 
and we can generate a report and we can publish the report in the github pages with cypress so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and you have a great day